Okay, hi again. So this is part two for the character modeling. Uh, we're going to work on the leg today. Uh, so we left off last time when we did the torso, we connected the arm to a general shape. And I'm now going to create a cylinder, same as we did before. Press F to frame it, and in the inputs, we're going to change the axis to 8, 6, and 0 for the caps. And I will start first inside view and try to position it. So I'm going around the knee is the middle. Stretch it out. And the same. For now, I'll just work on moving things roughly to the shape. The top part I will also rotate. And then I will just really quickly do this just to get the rough shape. And I will do the same in the front. You see my knee is not aligned correctly between the side and the front, uh, but hopefully you're working with more accurate references. I would just actually pick one side to the indication so this is on this side. So this is okay. okay. I'm really not so much concerned about the shape. Now what I want to do is connect the two, but before that I will just delete the faces in the caps. And okay, we'll select now the main object and combine it. So I'll do this in the modeling toolkit. I select both and combine. I am losing my instance, uh, which actually I don't want now, and I will make it press one for the subdivisions. Now another thing I need to do to the body and it's to add it to insert an edge loop in the front and the back. So I'll use the multi-cut, control, and somewhere in the middle maybe it off to the side, this is in the front, and the same thing in the back. I will also insert here an edge loop, about here. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the edges from the top part with this one and the corresponding one and I'll press the bridge. I will make the divisions into three. 
And now I will just squeeze first. These two edges in. And actually, I will lower all these. So, what I'm trying to do now is make a connection between the body and the leg. Now, I see already my leg is way too extreme to this side. I'll just now move this part. I will, have to, I will have to adjust the shape. Uh, this is just now for me for comfort, for connecting. Uh, now I'm doing it blindly. Okay, then I will just use my uh, target weld again. I'll go into vertex mode. I'm just connecting these three together. So this is this one. The corresponding one is this to the leg here. It's kind of hard to see, of course, for. And the next one is this one here. I'm connecting it to the body. So we did this type. We also lower this a little bit. I'm going to fill this hole. And I have a triangle here, but I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just going to try to turn it another way like this. All the way across. And because these are two triangles, Here. And I will add another edge look here. We're going to continue with the back part of our character. So we connected this like this before, and here, if we see, we can just actually connect this to here and we'll get it all in quads, but it's not exactly what we want to do. We want to have some kind of row here to define the, the back part. So I'm going to first just a bit lower this down. Now, the accuracy here is very rough, but uh, just to, more to show how to connect. I'm going to start with this, and I'm going to actually start with inserting another edge loop here. And then I will go and cut between this part to here. To create a kind of uh, notch. Now I'm going to fill this hole. I'm going to select an edge here. And I would want to connect this to this. So I have here a quad, here a quad, and here I have a triangle. It doesn't matter at the moment. What I'm going to do now is actually take this point, first cut from here to here to here. 
So I'm going to create an old quads. I have here actually five in here, which I know, so I can pretty much delete this part or merge it with here. I'll use my target weld the vertex, and I will just now start moving them into position, and I can just delete this edge. So what I wanted to get was this uh, shape. Now, of course, I will need to shape this character. I don't know why this broke. Now what I did here, I can easily, um, let's see if I would just use my, okay, so this is for a character, now I'm just going to, Duplicate it again. So I will first have to move the pivot. So I press D and V to snap it on the line, and that will just be edit duplicate special minus one and then this is. Okay. Adjust the shapes while I'm smooth. 